On. Okay. Tiger TV? This is, yeah. <laughs> Tiger TV. Yeah, this is Tiger TV. It's Mr. G TV. All right, this is the Pexto bead roller. It's been here since like, I don't know, 1940. It comes with a whole set of stuff down below. This is an iron working table or sheet metal table. It's got its inserts. Okay, I'm Mr. G Memorial High School and I got a crowd around me, so now I'm like, I got eyeballs staring at me. Okay, here we go. We're gonna teach people how to do some simple bead rolling on a sheet. They were nice enough to already cut the sheets. So we've got a whole bunch of sheets that are already cut. Okay, you guys didn't radius the edges though. That's the only trouble with this. Okay, but now take a look here. Let's just show them, right? This is what a radius edge looks like. Nice, like this. And then that would fit right in the corner there. And then this way, no one cuts themselves. Okay? Uh, so let's, uh, how about this? Does anybody know how to do that? No. no? Okay, why don't you get me a circle template, which is right here. And let's start by doing that. Here, put this on my desk, please. And circle template, and okay. Okay, now it's your turn to film right there. Don't press this button, whatever you do. Okay, so let's say you're going to uh, radius the edge. You want to hand me a... Um, uh, yeah, you know what I'm looking for. The green one? Yep, he knows. Good. Okay, so we're going to, just so there's a clean background. You, what you do is you take, let's say you want a one inch radius, right? Think about a radius like this. It's basically diameter is across, right? Okay, and what is radius? Does anybody know? This, yeah. What? That's right. This is the radius. Okay, you seeing that on the camera there? Oops, there needs to be, right? And this is diameter, right? Diameter looks like this. Okay, now, uh, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use, we're just gonna use a quarter of it, right? For the corner, okay? All right, so if we want a one inch radius, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the two inch circle template, which is here, okay? Yep, press the little button for focus. Perfect. And it, do, it doesn't even focus that close, okay? And then what you do is you just just radius the corner by putting that line in. Now you can take this, okay? Actually, can you hand me the, uh, the older ones? These, I think, are not as good. Okay. And the other ones. Now these are called Wiss. All right, I think I explained these in another video. These will last forever. The original ones. The new ones, not so much. And here we go. We're going to cut off the corner right here. Perfect. Like I thought, they cut perfectly. The new ones are worn out already. No surprise there. Okay, and now I'm turning as I'm cutting. Now, if you notice, you, what you get is this little piece. Now, if you put your hand down into that by accident, it will definitely go right inside. So what I do is I immediately throw this out. So please, I mean, that would be perfect. Just throw that straight out to the garbage. Don't even mess around. Okay. Now we're going to go over to this um, vise. The vise is not bolted down currently, but it has enough of a base that we could use it for uh, sanding. Now, can we have a file, a number one file, please? I call it a number one, but basically it's a coarse file. There we go. Okay, and I'm doing this lefty, but basically, uh, do me a favor, just put your hand here and there'll be no noise. Or lefty. Okay. So it's got the shape, but it's kind of rough, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to number two file, and I'll switch with you, okay? Number two file is a, core, a, a fine file, and it's like just like a emery brush for a, you know for doing your nails, right? This is like doing your nails. Like I do my nails every morning before I get ready, and then I paint them. No, I'm just kidding. I would if I was a rock star or something like that. Okay, uh, so now uh, a little bit of sandpaper, please. Do I know where that is? Perfect, he was ready with it. Okay, you take a little sandpaper.
And now you have a nice radius edge. Thank you. All right, so that's just a sample of what is expected, okay? Now, that, that's something, okay, so you guys, I'm talking to the crowd now, so you guys, right? This is what you guys are gonna do for now, okay. All right, now, I need a ruler. Okay, they're gonna hand me a ruler. All right, so you got a nice radius edge. Okay, who has a, uh, who has like an iPhone? Who's got like an iPhone and like a, like a, who's got the Apple computer? Mac computer, right? Okay, notice that the edges, they're all radius consistent, right? Take a look at products and you'll notice the radius edge. This is not just my requirement. This is all requirements because otherwise you have a sharp edge that's like a knife, right? So, okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do, okay, I'm gonna put a measurement in here. I'm gonna say, okay, I want the bead to be, let's say, we're gonna do, this is six inches. I'm gonna do one right in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna go right in the middle here, okay? And then I'm gonna put my line, okay? Now, I don't wanna go directly to the edge. I wanna go two, in, I'm gonna go two inches from the, from the end. And I'll put a little mark. Can anybody get me a, a, a tri-square? There should be one right there. Oh, perfect, he's got it. Okay, this is a tri-square. I don't know if you guys know from my other videos, it's got 90 degree in the corner, okay? Pretty self-explanatory, but some explanation needed. Basically, you can, you can ride the edge and you'll get yourself a 90, All right? I'll flip it over and we got ourselves right here. Pretty close, right? This is just for a sample. So the bead is gonna be like this. The bead's gonna be like, like this. Basically like that, okay? So now, you have to set it, right? Yeah, there's no dies, right? But I just wanna show the fence. So this is called a fence right here. See how it slides on here? See, and it's got what's called a set screw, actually, and someone put it in backwards. Let's take a look at this. Okay, you guys seeing this, right? The set screw is basically, you put an Allen key in there and it's got this little, like, sharp, pointy thing, and that will fit into the track. You see the track right here, if you wanna take a look? I don't know if you could see that. Is that hard to see? The track, right there, okay? I don't know if that's possible to see that. Okay, so this is not the best video, but you guys get the idea, right? And you take the the, the pointy, what's called a set screw, right? What's it called? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I have the, uh, the Allen key ready to go, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is this side, if you notice, this is the side that's gonna ride the fence. Okay, this is like your guide. You ever hold on to the banister when you're walking down the stairs, right? That's your guide, right? All right, well, you guys are young, so you don't need that. But me, I'm like, ooh, I'm old. Walk down the stairs, some young kid's going to bump into me, so, you know, in between classes, so I got to be careful. Typically. You know. Okay, so anyway, this goes like this, right? So this slides on here, and we spent time cleaning this uh, two years ago. Spent time doing that. Okay, now... I'm gonna put the, the, the rollers in, right? This one goes like this. And these go like this. Okay. And then this one is keyed. So it moves with the handle. Do you guys see that? Okay. And then this one gets its, right? Now there is a tool to tighten this up, but it, as long as it's like finger tight, it's not bad. It really is fine. Okay, so now you're gonna move this into position. Okay, and then I'm just, I, I'm looking straight down at it. You see me right here? Look at my eyeball like this. Close one eye, see, look at me. Like close one eye, this one, and then use this one as like a laser beam. And you, you laser beam it right here, okay? All right, and then you take it, 
and you you must look to see now you could measure it you could measure it that would probably be a better way to do it okay so if you want to measure it what you would do is you would just go like this so that's that's pretty good I'm just gonna tap it just a little bit there you go so I've got if you look straight down right here oops sorry about that bad filmmaking right there square it up see the three right there and then the little line and if you look straight down that's pretty much in the middle of that okay so there you go there's your there it is and now we're gonna take this tighten it up don't go crazy because it's not you're very strong you don't have to overdo it okay take this all right and that's where you start okay right there and then what you do is you start by pushing down right okay now here's where things get a little bit like what is going on here things get cattywampus right where things don't make any sense this is bizarro world check this out if you are going in this direction you must look right here okay all right so that is like muy importante right okay so now i'm gonna go okay and i'm keeping this let's do it like this do it just like this the way the person would see it like that you're doing really good right there okay perfect and i'm moving through this okay and I'm pushing through. And now where's my thumb? Is it here? No. No. Why? Because you can switch your hand. Yeah. Th this is like a hammer, but like the hammer stays. I stole that quote from Jesse James. He used to talk about the power hammers, you know, so on an English wheel. So it's the same thing. If it rolls over your thumb, it's not going to be fun. Okay. So I always leave my thumb out of the way. Now I'm pushing into here, right? I'm holding it there and then I stop right there, okay? Then what I do is I crush it up a little further, right? And I roll back. Now when I roll back, when I roll back, I'm going to I'm going to watch this side. So that's a new a new challenge, right? Here. Okay? All right. So here we go. Now I'm coming back like this. Okay, and then I stop, right? Now that is good enough, but you could go one more quarter turn. Okay, so let's do that. Oh my God. Okay, now generally you would have someone help you, but if they do, you got to have your fingers out of the way because you, things can go wrong very quickly. Okay, so now I'm going to undo this. And there's your bead, right? And now it's strong, right? But you're not done. One more thing to do. Please get me the tool to finish this, okay? And a hammer. Yeah, perfect. You're going to have to make a tool or use this one. This is just a simple like pipe that I took off of uh, some scrap metal. It was I think it was actually part of a handle for a um, for a uh, lawnmower. It doesn't need to be much. The thicker the better, but you basically just put it on the end and then you just hit it and you have to have like an uh, like an anvil behind you. What I do is start in the corner here like this. See this? Start there. Yep, start like that. So hit it. And then once you're down, move it over. And there, there's a there's a finished part. Right? The finished cap. Okay. Same thing here, start in the corner. There, and then that's finished. But what the problem now is that if you notice, let me have a ruler. Oh, actually, I'll use this. Okay, here's the problem I have. Take a look, do you see the, 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 the light from there? Okay, now what's happening is that there's extra material right here. Okay, 
And what you would do in a future video, not right now, you would shrink here because you have extra material and you'd have to shrink here as well. And that is, that requires, uh, you want to pull out the, the, the shrinker? Because we don't have much time for this. Okay, so in a different video, I'll show you how to use this. And what this does is it, it grabs it and then it pushes it together. It grabs it and then it pushes it together. Because that's called a shrinker. Okay, now you can't be more than one or two inches from the edge. Yeah, that's okay. Next next video, we'll do that. All right, let's see. Perfect. Okay, I'm Mr. G. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, that's a bit uh, like a long video on how to do how to use the bead roller. And I think my students get the idea, and you guys are gonna have to try that mañana or this afternoon. And then if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or whatever. Okay, thanks a lot. See you later. Yeah.